one of the things uh, I've noticed is that uh, we've had a lot of comments in the media around uh, motorcycling and bikers and uh, and everything. And I was just hearing that uh, Raptor 13, um, who's well known within the motorcycle scene, um, finally uh, no longer is a part of Raptor and apparently has a desk job um, for for his uh, for quite a while, I think, in his career as a police officer. Some of us might be quite um, happy with that. Um, I know a few people that are. But uh, one of the things is that in that component, uh, we've been getting stereotyped. Um, you know, where, where people are portraying a particular idea of uh, motorcyclists and bikers and, uh, and when you're on the fringe, like, you get tarred all with the same brush. Whereas uh, if it's, you know, police or something, then it's just that individual um, that's an exception to the rule. But one of the, the funny things is, like, I've had um, people at my work say to me that uh, if they saw me um, and they didn't know me, they crossed the road. Um, you know, if they saw me walking down the street, um, I've been pulled over and um, just walking down the street and asked, you know, to show my ID because I happen to fit uh, the description of a missing person that was bald and had a goatee and, you know, and it was just really profiling. Um, and so I've been profiled as a biker, but uh, the other great thing is that I, because I'm actually a Christian biker, I get profiled as a Christian. So I had someone ask me, say to me, oh, you don't actually look like a Christian, you look like a biker. And I, I think I took that as a compliment. Um, I wasn't real sure whether they were trying to offend me or not, but anyway, I was quite happy with that. But uh, just that, that component. So one of the things I noticed as a Christian is that in Australia, I think uh, people are concerned about having beliefs shoved on them or pushed on them, you know, um, being preached at and uh, and it, one of the things that we try and do at Brotherhood is not to do that but we try and be true to ourselves where we integrate um, our belief and our faith with also uh, being a biker and being part of um, the biking community and so it's not to uh, shove stuff on people but to give an invitation for people to check stuff out for themselves and uh, not to judge the God stuff by the stereotype. Not the stereotype God, but to actually give him a chance that if you look into it to yourself, you might be quite surprised that it's a lot more than a lot of bunch of do's and don'ts and you know um, all the sort of stereotyping that, that we all get hit with. And so if you're interested, um, down at the stand, uh, there's a couple of Gospels of Mark and there's also uh, Hursty's uh, two books and uh, videos and stuff. And uh, in the book, Hursty just you know, gives a good account of his life as a motorcyclist, but also as a Christian. Um, and you can just uh, look into it for yourself. And so we just encourage you uh, not to judge by a stereotype, but to actually just uh, look into it for yourself and make up your own mind uh, and give it checked. No way, thanks for listening and uh, thanks for being uh, part of the show and coming and support us. Uh, I wouldn't have thought we had a chance of having so many people. Anyway, I think they're giving me the cue to get off, so uh, I'm gone. <laughs>